Trapped in the Wrong Body Republic versus Kagandahan. Sorry to say that you have congenital adrenal hyperplasia, which is a condition where a person that's affected process both male and female. So what are you concerned? I'm here because I want to request a change in my legal gender marker from female to male. I ask is for the legal recognition that aligns with my true identity. It's about self-identification, dignity, and the right to live authentically. Granting this change will help protect the rights of transgender individuals across the Philippines. I respect your courage and your stronger. However, we must uphold existing laws and consider the balance between individual rights and societal Good morning, everyone. The court is now in session for the case of Republic versus Kagandahan. Attorney Lopez, are you ready to present your case? Yes, Your Honor. We are ready to proceed. The Republic believes that the current birth certificate system should not accommodate changes to gender and official Thank you. And Attorney Ramirez, are you prepared to present the case? Yes, Your Honor. We will argue that denying transgender individuals the ability to change their gender on their birth certificate is violation for their rights. Thank you, Attorneys. Now, let's call our first witness, Dr. Perez. Please take the seat. Dr. Perez, could you please state your expertise for the court? I am a licensed psychologist. With a specialization in gender dysphoria, I have extensive experience working with transgender individuals. Based on your expertise, can you explain to the court why you believe changing gender markers and birth certificates is unnecessary? Certainly, as a psychologist, I have observed that the gender a person identifies with may not necessarily align with the sex assigned at birth allowing transgender individuals. To change their gender markers on official documents, such as birth certificates, is essential for their mental well-being and so society integration. Thank you, Dr. Perez. No further questions. Your Honor. Attorney Ramirez, your turn to cross-examine the witness. Dr. Perez, while I understand your expertise, how would you respond to the argument that changing gender marks on birth certificate could lead to identify what? As so of changing gender markers, unofficial documents involved through verification and legal requirements. This minimizes the risk of fraud and ensures that only those who genuinely identify with a different gender can make the change. You, Dr. Perez. Your Honor, I have no further question for this witness. Thank you, attorneys. Any objection before we move forward? The argument has been heard. And the evidence has been presented. I will now take some time to deliberate before delivering a final judgment. In the case of Republic versus Kagandahan, I hereby declare that transgender individuals have the right to change their gender markers on official documents. Including the birth certificates, the court recognizes the importance of respecting the self-identified gender of individuals. Those ensuring their social integration and mental well-being while maintaining proper legal protocols to prevent fraud.